This presentation is going to walk through opening web forms in modal dialogues. My name is Jacob Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. So what is a modal dialog? Modal dialogues provide a quick and easy way to display a form or information without leaving the current page. And this is a web form in a modal dialog. It's a contact form being opened up on the home page without leaving the home page and it just displays it in a box and dis disables the background. That's the modal aspect of dialogues. And you can fill out the form and you don't have to leave the page when you fill out the form. Very quick and easy user experience. So about modal dialogues in Drupal 8. Drupal 8 provides a dialog API. Drupal 8's dialog API uses jQuery UI to open those modals. And, and dialogues are generally open via hyperlink. It's just the common behavior in Drupal when you're reading the documentation on dialogues. And you, you can learn more about Drupal's dialog API. There's, that's the link to the change record. So Drupal's dialog API requires the developer. It, it's a little complex. Not that complex, but you have to understand JavaScript, just sewn, adding libraries to every page if you want to link on every page, and how you can kind of set that up. And the web form model is trying to just make it a little easier. So we'll get into that. How do you set up web form modal dialogues? Well, the web form module provides a flexible and configurable solution which makes it easy for end users to open modal dialogues. So this is the configuration form. It's fairly simple. You're basically defining presets for your dialogues. You're giving it a name, a title, and then the dimensions. And these are the three presets that the web form module ships with, narrow, normal, and wide and they're 600, 800 by 1,000 pixels. And there's this little checkbox down below, and I'm going to highlight it right here. I'm going to click on it so you can see it. And that checkbox, I'm jumping ahead, but the checkbox says Enable Site-Wide Dialog Support. So to step back, you got to define your presets, look at them. You might not need to change those. The Enable Site-Wide Dialog Support is key. What that does is add a little bit of JavaScript to every page in your site to allow dialogues to be opened. And you have to ask, can't do it automatically, just start adding JavaScript to everyone's page. So you have to kind of agree to it by checking that box. And then we're going to get into it a little further, but dialogues are triggered from CSS classes. So you have to update your text formats to support classes within the A tag. And if you want to do some other fancy stuff with dialogues, you have to install additional link-related modules that make it possible to add attributes to certain links. These links would be within the CK editor, your menu system, or even in a field that links somewhere. Um, and this is this is the hyperlink that we need to create. This is the end goal, whatever you're doing. This is really simple HTML markup. Here's an href pointing to contact form with a class attribute with two classes, web form dialog, which triggers that this is link is going to open in a dialog, and then web form dialog dash narrow, narrow is a preset, that just gives it the information of what the size of the dialogue is going to be. And this is just a hyperlink. opens the modal. And going back to the text formats, you have to, text formats support hyperlinks, they support an href and an href lang, but you have to add that class to that a tag so that you can then add the web form dash dialogue class. I'm not going to go too heavily into this. You can research text formats a little bit more, but I think you start getting the concept. And these are the link-related modules, um, and they're really about adding attributes to your links. And the D8 editor, that adds when you open to add a link, it lets you add classes. The menu link attributes I'm going to demo, that allows you to add classes to your menu links. And the link attributes does it for fields. And so it comes down to where can you place modal dialogues? Well, web form modal dialogues can be open by web form fields and any link that supports CSS. So I'm going to demo both of these, but I'm going to walk you through them a little bit. So this is the web form field display settings, and there's a drop down for the dialog size. And you can have a link and say, open this in a dialog. And I'm also adding some extra, you know, classes. I'm adding a button class to make the link look like a button, and I'm tweaking the margins a little bit. I'm going to demo this. Um, this is done with the event registration demo that the web form module ships with. Now, if you enable the global site light dialogs, when you go to any form, you're going to get this dialog settings help at the bottom of the settings, the general settings for the form. And it gives you examples of what the hyperlink is and a way to test that web form in a modal dialog. And that checkbox at the bottom helps you allow to pass query string parameters that help define the context of where the web form is being submitted from. So if you want to 
pass in, have a dialog open and say this is being submitted by node 1, you can pass node 1 as parameters into that dialog. I'm going to have to demo this. I'm going to jump over. I have a clean install. We're going to just walk through the configuration and we're just on the default form configuration at the bottom. Here's those settings. And this is a clean install, so I'm doing that action where I'm checking this off. And it also tells you to go to text formats and it gives you the example that you need to paste in. I'm not going to go too further with that. I'm going to hit save. Now it's turned on site wide, which is a key thing. I'm going to show you the link, the web form field link formatter first by jumping to a demo event on the site. Here's one. I'm going to go to it. And this is that link. And it says register. And if I click, it's going to open it in a full screen window. I'm going to close it because we have dialog wide set up. I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you how to configure it. I'm going to do this in new tabs because it's a little easier. I'm going to manage display. Link to form. Label. Click through. You see it says wide. I'm going to go to narrow because it's not a very big form. That's what makes it a button. Controls the margin. I'm going to hit update. Save. I'm going to go back to that tab. I'm going to hit refresh. And now I've changed the size. This is a very simple approach if you're using web form node module and you're attaching web, form, um, web forms to nodes or other entities, a very easy way to do it. I'd like to get into the more complex way. So I'm going to jump over to web forms. I'm going to use our contact form as the example. I'm going to scroll down, get to settings. I'm going to close this tab. Scroll down. Here's the examples. By the way, all this checkbox does is it allows you to pass in source entity information into that link. Source entities just track where web form is being submitted from. There are other screencasts kind of explaining it a little further. There is a test here that you can just quickly test it. But what we really want to focus on is this link. So let's keep this open. I'm going to go to add content. I'm going to show you the first example of in a basic page, we have a, you know, we could be anything. Hit type test. I'm going to change the format to full HTML because it makes it a little easier for me to do the demo. I'm just going to paste this in, just an example. I'm going to hit save. And we have this button that's just been added to the body content. And if I click, we get a dialog. Very simple approach. You could do this anywhere. You could do it in blocks, paragraphs, anywhere that you can paste HTML into and you have the text formats configured. You could do it this way. Now what I would like to do for this demo is add a contact link in the footer that opens a dialog. So I'm going to go over to menus. I'm going to go over to footer. There's no links. I'm going to add a link. I'm going to use, I'm going to call this contact. I'm cutting and pasting the link in just to get some of the information we need. So the first thing we have is the classes, which I'm going to note here. But what we want to do is get the hyperlink. And we just need the path, so form slash contact. And this is the menu links attribute module kicking in. And if I paste it in and hit save, it now adds a contact. By the way, it's even working in here. If I click on it, it opens a dialog. But what we really want to see it on the site. So I'm going to click home. It's a very long form page just because it's demo, but there it is. And boom, you have a contact link that just opens in a modal dialog. This is incredibly clean user experience to get feedback without going to a new page and having them redirect back to the home page. And because these are hyperlinks that are progressively enhanced, it's got good SEO because if I right click and say open in a new tab, Google is going to index this page, which is perfectly fine. Um, just a good example of how Drupal just has good SEO, progressive enhancement use in JavaScript. And I'm going to keep going. I hope that it's a good demo of how dialogues are work with the Web Form module for Drupal 8. So moving forward, this is a big takeaway. Any link can open a Web Form modal dialog. As soon as you check that box, anything's possible. You just have to get that class onto that link. So some modal dialog references. Um, there's great articles about creating a modal dialog in Drupal 8. You know, displaying forms of modal dialog. These are just good examples. It helps you understand um, the code that's been written to help get this working. And you should look at the jQuery UI dialogue examples and API to get more familiar with, you know, how you can customize that dialogue. That's it. If you want to learn more about me, go to jrockwitz.com and thank you.